that a glow in the dark ostrich? Oh! Something I've never seen before! <laughs> All right, what is going on guys? John D. Games here and today we are going to be starting us some electrician's journey. Now I know what you're thinking, John, you already have a series of electrician's journey going, but that is correct. I do have a series going, but here's the thing. I'm personally wanting to get into some more single player stuff, mainly just because of summer and being able to create a lot more videos on my own. Um, currently, we have um, like scheduling conflicts left and right with Austin and Dan both, and it's just like, it's weird, they have jobs, they have a real life, it's weird, and um, I don't have one of those, so I can sit down in my basement playing video games all day and provide more content for you guys, which is pretty much why I'm going to um, have both a single and a multi multiplayer server of um, Electrician's Journey. Series, I mean, not a server. Um, really, this is just going to be this little journey. Um, I'm on Electrician's Journey, and um, if you don't know, I am lagging, because I could clearly see, but that's just because the terrain's generating. And um, if you pay attention to my mod spotlight, you might grab ahead of this uh, this little seed right here. But um, currently, I am going to um, just be playing this on my own, and um, I really don't know much about the seed survival-wise. I have looked around it visually, but um, survival is a completely different thing. Let's go ahead and type... Uh, what did I want to do? Game rule. That's what I want to do. Keep inventory. Because um, if the multiplayer servers taught me anything, yeah, that's going to be needed. And um, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and journey off on my own. So, uh, first thing I want to do is not go in there, because that is one of the worst places. In fact, I should be chopping down those trees over there, because that's pretty much going to be the thing that's going to start this whole thing. And, um... Meanwhile, I can grab some blueberries. I think you can eat these. But that's pretty much it for food right now. Oh, yeah, you can. Perfect. So whenever I get hungry, I'll actually eat those. And also, um, barley is where it's at. That's something I've learned. I've actually been playing a... Uh, I've actually been playing a just-for-fun kind of server. And uh, it's just been awesome so that's kind of like a little motivation as to why I want to do more of these two player what um, more of these videos that I can just do like this all my own and um, really just narrate what I was doing in that already so basically um, the way that this is working I'm honestly considering upping it to two videos a day now that I can start doing single player videos because with a, with coordinating three people two of them having lives it's kind of difficult so that's pretty much why I'm I'm doing this and um, pretty much expect this for most of the next year or so because um, college is going to be a really big kind of hinder for all of us. Uh, so, don't really expect a whole lot of group videos. I mean, obviously, I'm not stopping them. I'm just going to do less of them, because they're going to be a little more difficult to do. And that just being said, it's not going to change a whole lot. It's not going to be radically different on the channel. If anything, it's going to be a lot like it was before. I mean, if you guys remember back to the summer, the, the last summer, whenever I was doing these videos, I was doing two a day. One Minecraft and one non-Minecraft. Um, might not stick to the uh, Minecraft and non-Minecraft style, but that was basically back when I did little to no, no editing and ki that kind of stuff with my videos. So it's just kind of a whole different thing. I'm um, probably going to be doing two Minecrafts and... Let's see. I haven't really decided on the second series, but it's it's looking like the Aether. I really don't know what I want it to be. Ow. And um, something I do want to note, I want to find a dungeon. I really want to find a place that I can just kind of hang for a while. There are cows though, so that's very good. And actually, if you guys know what I have, uh, if you guys know what this seed is from, it's um, the seed that I do a bunch of my mod spotlights on back when I used to do those. Remember you guys? Um, and then back here is pretty much just a place that I've never been before. So I don't feel like this is cheating at all using a seed that I already knew. So um, and also it's also part of like the dungeons kind of thing being able to actually explore and see what comes up with those, because I have no idea. So let's get some tools going. Um, I'll go ahead and grab me a sword, 
so all of you cows can die. And uh, keep inventory is going to be radically helpful for the first night, because, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen the very first of the multiplayer one, but it's bad. I don't know if you've seen the first six. They're all bad. They're really bad and terrible, and honestly, as soon as that starts back up, keep inventory going on, because there, there's there's no way we're going to get stuff done. It's just, it's just not going to happen. So now that I've pretty much killed most of these cows, I mean... I got a pretty good supply. All I need to do is really start smelting some of that wood. Uh, perfect time to see how many of these heal up. So I have four right now. Eat. Uh, it only heals a half. I mean, I guess that isn't bad. And did you see how fast you ate those? Those were seriously really quick to eat. And oh my god, there's pig. I'm never going to run out of meat. This is going to be awesome. I feel so manly just cutting down my food. Killing it. And I already broke my sword over a cow I was trying to murder. Finish it with my fists. And let's go and craft us another one. Because this is being really effective. Also, probably going to have leather armor soon. I can probably make some now. And soon I actually want to go out and start looking for um, a village. Maybe once I have stone or even iron. I don't think I should do it before I get iron. At least iron uh, sword at least. Because... It's probably not going to end well in my favor. And um, just something that I'm going to put in there. I can use slash spawn point at any given time. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to definitely be helpful to actually explore more and be better in this world. Because I know I'm definitely not going to make it as far without that. So, did anything happen down here? No, just, just some fallen sand. Probably just fell into a cave and it's barricaded, but I'm not really going to concern myself with that until I have to go mining, which actually should probably be about now. But I'm going to stay at the surface until it's probably about night, ideally spending my night mining, because that would probably be my best way of going, because I really don't want to be out here whenever all the super mobs that are going to cause me to drop my sword. That is seriously the bane of my existence. Those mobs that make you drop my sword... That's just dumb. <laughs> That's just really OP. Like, you don't you have no idea. That is literally the bane of this mod. But enough of its faults. This is actually a really, really fun mod from what I've played. And literally all of the places I've explored have been mind-blowingly fantastic. So that being said, I really want to get down into that little mine over by the desert as soon as possible. And I guess I better just start... I really don't want to start mining now, and I'll just eat pork. My main food supply will be steak for a bit. I just want enough so I can hop around. I don't really want to be hindered like that. Eh. What, what, what is that? Is that a glow-in-the-dark ostrich? Oh! Something I've never seen before. And it doesn't appear to be hostile, so I'm not going to touch it, but that is cool. That is really awesome. <laughs> that is ser That's seriously really awesome. And I'm sure if I turn up my brightness... Oh, freaking. It's all, it's all the way up. But cool! I found coal for the people that can't see. So everybody. All right. Let me eat one piece of coal is all I needed to get this torch factory started. Just place one down, and let there be light, and let there be iron, and I found skeleton heads. Yeah, those those appear from time to time. Totally calming, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm wondering, does this have, does this have Ray's mini-map? Uh... P I U J -L. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Which would be good for my spawn, and it would be good for a home, but nah, I guess I'll just have to make two. Which is perfect, because I always get to remember what my coordinates are. Or I just write them down. But most of the time, I just put them at about 400, 400, because that's where they are in, um, that's where they are in the for fun world. It just is something that might work pretty well. And 
whenever I do actually try and do that, I just try and remember them so I will actually find my house again. Otherwise, I could just have my inventory filled with bags and be a wandering traveler. It'll be glorious. It'll be so manly. It'll be so hippie. Both at the same... Ah, both at the same time. Manly and hippie. I would think mostly hippie, though. Seems like. Um... Like, see, this is the stuff I talk about whenever I'm mining. It's always so boring, mining, personally. One more cobble, and then I can actually make a pick, and then I can go get more cobble, as well as that iron. I I really don't know if I should make myself that, um, that armor first. I should probably just do a sword. Especially since there's only three. And more coal. And I'm stuck. Spiderweb. I just realized it's probably worse down here whenever, um, whenever it's daytime. Because <laughs> guess where all the mobs would spawn? They would spawn on the surface, but they can't. So they come down here. Oh, no. No, no, no. I gotcha. You're not leaving me. Yeah, seriously, that's really creepy. I'm going to go grab those skeleton heads and... You know what? You know what's more creepy than just the skeleton, the skeleton head sitting there? Walking around like a skeleton. These are actually everywhere. It doesn't even need to be, like, in a little area like this. If they're just in a cavern, that that's fine, too. They're everywhere, and it's kind of creepy. But also, kind of reflective. Just showing the poor souls that were too stupid to not bring armor. Like, seriously, there's no armor around them. Then again, the mobs that killed them might have taken that. I just realized. The mobs will pick those up now. Pick those up now? How long have they been able to do that? I feel old. Let's see. Didn't that come out around 1.3? I feel like mobs being able to wear armor. So, I feel a little old, but... <laughs> how do you feel old when you've never played beta? I don't know. Um, ooh, bones. I love bones. These will actually be really helpful. Wait, did I get not bones? No, those are bones. I don't know what that thing dropped that looked like an ore, but it wasn't an ore. I heard an enderman. Or was it that ender ostrich? That looked really cool. I don't know, but I really hope it's the ostrich. That thing didn't seem passive. And it's nighttime. Perfect. So encouragement to keep mining. Maybe go down, try and find some diamonds. I, I already have iron, so maybe I should make that into a pick, so if I find diamonds, I can actually mine it. Or I can make a sword. A sword's probably going to be more helpful. But good thing I don't need to choose. Wait. No, I can make both. What is that? That's a female Enderman. Ha! 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 It's an Ender Woman. A Miss Enderman. Yeah, let's make a decent sword before I go and punch that thing. Because that's what I—that's my first thought. I wanted to climb up there and start hitting it. Because it's in my turf, it's in my little cavern. What can it do, right? It can kill me so badly. It will just murder and rape me. It will not be pretty. And it will not be a fun Let's Play. Um, let's just... I should use um, this kind of stuff for, like, my house. I feel like just having it as my floor. I think that'd be cool. Raw marble. I wonder if there's a way to craft this, like, smelt it into more... Okay. Miss, you're starting to get annoying. Where is my furnace? Oh, I set my crafting bench down. Uh, let's make another one then. And then I will actually go and kill that guy, because... Girl. Does it matter? I don't think it's sexist if I go and kill an Ender Woman. Why did I make sticks? Oh, I was gonna make a furnace and then I'll I'll need those sticks, but I don't know why, that was just my first intention. Um let's go ahead, smelt this up. Perfect amount. Eight for one coal. This is gonna be good. Alright, so that has normal forty HP, but I looked at it and it's not wanting to attack me. But, okay, I was about to say it stopped making noises, so maybe not, but... 
Iron sword. Let's go ahead and make one of those. All right. Maybe I should wait for a helmet or something. Nah, this'll do. You know what? I should just make leather. That's what I should just do. Make a bunch of leather armor. So that way I'm not going to suck as bad as I was going to for a second. Uh, let's see. Get the, all that back in. Chest plate. I mean, what am I going to do? Use this all in item frames? That would be its next use. And maybe... Duh! How do you... Um, I mean, obviously we have... Is this NEI or TMI? I never know the difference. But we can make a backpack. Backpacks are going to be incredibly useful, actually. I better start looking for one of those. Uh, backpack, backpack. Where's the backpack? I can load up with things that I'm... That was terrible. But that was on the spot, so maybe those will get better. Wait. Amphibian skin chest plate. Dude! That's what we need to focus on next. We need to find a swamp and we need to kill us some alligators. Backpacks. Okay, so how um, how do I craft this? Shit, that's easy. Does it work in white? Oh, that's tanned leather. Is it... For that black one, do I just need regular leather? Looks like a squid is on my kill list and... It's equipped all this. Take off that skull, I was starting to look stupid. Here we go. Then, then I really hope they vanish in water. Because otherwise, I'm probably going to be screwed. Oh, hey there. What in the hell? You look so weird. Drop anything? Uh, I don't think she did, but she stole the block that I was... Oh, shoot. I just got rid of that water. Eh, it was a nuisance anyway. Uh, let's see. Did they drop anything? I don't think she did. No, it's not looking like it. So, maybe I just have to kill more. But hey! First mob killed! Not bad. I mean, that's not including that cow... All those cows and pigs. So, hey! One for one without dying! <gasps> copper! I don't know what copper does. But it's it's stuff. It is certainly stuff. I'm assuming you can make copper, like armor and all that, so... That's why I'm mining it. If it was emerald, I'd just leave it to rot. It's always been a opinion of Dan's. Just screw emerald and all that. Because they don't do anything besides currency. What good is currency? He's a fighter. But, let's just keep mine. And actually, um, if you guys have been actually sticking with this, I'm kind of surprised. We're about at 18 minutes. Um, this is pretty much an advantage of doing this, um, doing this myself, too. We can always do these longer. I mean, we always used to film, or we always used to, um, film the stuff in parts. We also to we always used to um, film like six episodes at once or something insane like that where we're at our computer for like two hours recording. But that's pretty much how we've been doing it for quite a while. And um, with this system I can literally just leave and then I can like wait for you guys' comments and then about a little later in the day. I'm filming this pretty late at night, so that's always an advantage, too. Um, that's actually something that happened with the other electrician's journey, but I'm getting off track. Um, what happened, I can do a lot longer videos. Like, these, I'm perfectly fine just making 20 minutes long. 25, maybe, even. I just want to generally keep them short, so that way people will stay interested, but obviously I know some hardcore people like longer videos. I certainly do, but it's just like... Sometimes I'm not going to sit there and listen to a 25 thing. It's like a podcast or something. And hey, some of I didn't even think of that. Some people might be actually watching this in like a podcast form. Just kicking back, reading. Yes, reading. <gasps> Reaper. Oh, wait. What in the heck was that? Where, all, where did all those coins come from? 
and did I get all that XP from that? I don't... I didn't know... I don't know how much I had before. But I just realized this is probably one of the worst times to leave. Because every mob is out there. And they're watching for you. They're wanting you. Luckily, this is only a normal spider. What are these coins? I have never seen those before. But they rock... <gasps> that's a blast from the past. This, that's a good way to tell if you guys have been with me a really long time. Don't blow up your lightning creeper. I loved me some blue creepers. And seriously, they were my choice color for uh, creepers for a while. And... Oh, God, please, please don't explode. I really... Awesome. You got some redstone. But um, basically, blue creepers used to be my thing. Like, those used to... Um, if you look back at some of my old videos, like... One, I'm sorry for the audio. And two, you'll see some blue creepers and you'll wonder, why are they there? That's not a mod. Nah, I just like blue creepers because of the texture pack. I thought Minecraft could use some more blue stuff. And I also modified the slimes. So, this mod is actually really good and I totally should have went here first. I actually knew this existed because of just flying around, but heck. Ah, perfect last use for my sword. Alright, let's go on down. Eh. I'll jump. It's not like I'm going to break the TNT. I'm just going to loot it. And then a skeleton falls down here. What in the hell was that? What kind what kind of flames was those? Oh, and it's throwing potions at me too. Well, I hate you too then. Alright. Gold bones. Score! Three diamonds. That's enough for a sword. I'm going to need swords. I'm I gotta get over my mining thing. I gotta stop thinking, oh, this is going to be perfect so I can go mine more. No, I need swords. And also, I'm going to go up there and I'm actually going to use that wool and make me a bed. So this is actually a really awesome find. Um, orange wool. Nah, I'm not going to use that. Cobble. Alright, so. Here we go. I got the materials for my first bed. I'll sleep whenever night rolls around again. But until then, I'm free to roam and to start looking for stuff. And maybe even killing some good mobs. Ah, oh, Wait. That meant a rhino died on that cactus. You freaking god. That poor guy. That that only comes from a rhino, and it it just flat out killed it. Why why would you do that, man? Seriously. Ask yourself this. Why would a cactus want to kill a rhino? You have no use. You have no food. It'll just poof in front of you. It... Oh, I got its heart. Alright, honest... Honest... Oh. I should make that my first boss battle. Because that's a boss up there. I should make that my first boss battle. How cool would that be? Wait. Quick question, does that show up on the minimap? This is something I've been wondering. I don't think it does. I don't think it shows up on rays. But the thing is, I've seen these things before. Ah, uh, if I start to tower up there, I really need to... I really need to actually just dig up some sand, set my spawn point down here. I should go down there. I feel like I should go down there. I have decent enough armor. I'm going to make another iron sword just for the sole purpose of actually um, having a sword to switch out to whenever my sword breaks. So let's go ahead, make us a crafting bench, and we can go ahead and craft one more sword, and then, yeah, we get to go explore a little bit. This is going to be sweet. Which is actually going to have to be for another episode, so... Really, um... Oh, another advantage. I'm just kind of making these up as I go along, but these really are advantages. I can actually tell you guys when the episode's ending. I don't know if you noticed, but all of Better Survival and all of Pixelmon, I don't think I've ever said, Well, that's the episode. I'll see you guys next time. 
Mainly just because I, like I said, we film these in parts. But this one, no. I can actually tell you. Tune back in next episode to see these two things. This one, I don't know which one to do first. I mean, that one, I just have to rely on making them fall off. But that one, I'm probably going to die. We'll see. Thank you.